past six months or so, we've seen a proliferation of uh, lightweight pocket-sized 9mm pistols that have the magazine capacity of their larger cousins. It's been a great revolution in uh, pocket carry to me. It's been something I've been very excited about. I've been uh, pleased to review several of these pistols in the past and uh, they just keep coming. And the latest is a really, really neat one from the folks at Taurus. It's their brand new GX4 pistol. This is a uh, would be comparable to the uh, GX3 Toro, which I reviewed very recently. They just came out with it. This is quite a bit smaller, sub noticeably substantially smaller than the G3C. It's probably a tenth of an inch or so uh, narrower in the slide width, it's probably a quarter of an inch shorter, about three quarters of an inch uh, shorter in the grip. The GX4 is also four ounces lighter and four ounces may not sound like a lot, but when you're carrying it around all day in your pocket or however you choose to carry, it does make a difference. You, it, you could hardly even know this pistol's there. It's substantially noticeably shorter, but it's very ergonomic and very easy to handle. It's a very impressive little pistol. It's accurate, it, uh, it really shoots well, it handles well. It's got Taurus's uh, grip panels that are, uh, that are stippled very nicely they got just the right amount of grab to them so the gun don't want to wiggle around in your hand and it's it's it, the the panels are nicely designed from an aesthetic and an ergonomic standpoint also ergonomically they have uh, interchangeable back straps on them which uh th those of you who are familiar with uh, pistols like the s and w shield and whatnot will be uh familiar with that and happy to see that it comes with two one installed and one not installed has a little bit less of a palm swell in it i found the installed uh, back strap to be just perfect for my hand i have a reasonably large hand not a huge hand but reasonably large hands and uh it's it's just perfect for that the polymer frame also has uh indexing pads on either side for your finger to set on when you when you present the weapon and it's, uh, it's also very nicely abrasive. It's positive and easy to feel. The trigger guard is hooked. It's not stippled on the front of the trigger guard, but it is hooked trigger guard for those of you who like to have a finger forward grip, as my brother Jeff did. The uh, slide has forward and rear uh, cocking serrations on it. Really easy to handle. It, everything works out well for that. The front of the slide is tapered to allow it to go into a holster very easily. It is no problem holstering. The sights are uh, very nice. They're steel, they're serrated. The rear side is serrated. The front side is a steel sight that has a white dot on it. Presents a very nice sight picture and uh, you don't have any trouble at all picking up that front sight. Besides the sights being very nice sights, the slide of this pistol does not uh, is not pre-configured for an optic as many of the new uh, nine millimeter pistols are. Uh, such as the uh, G3C Toro with Taurus's Toro uh, RMR plate system on it. I imagine they'll probably come out with something like that on the GX4. I don't know that, but you know, I would be kind of surprised if they did not. The the uh, guide rod is steel, and it's uh, the recoil spring is a dual captured system. It works very well. It, uh, there's not too much snap when you fire the gun, and it comes back into position very quickly. The trigger is very nice on these. It's just like the trigger on the G3C Toro. It's a little bit wider trigger. It's got a serrated face on it. And the uh, little flapper safety in the middle of it is also wider and has a serrated face. It makes it feel very nice. It, uh, it's got a nice crisp let off on it. The reset is very positive, very short, about three eighths of an inch. And it just, it's a very nice trigger system. The trigger pull on the GX4 averaged four pounds, 4.3 ounces, a very reasonable trigger. It lets off very crisply. The trigger reach, which is the distance from the furthest forward point of the back strap to the face of the trigger, the face of the trigger safety actually, is 2.56 inches, which is a very comfortable range for nearly everybody's hand. You, you would. You'd have to go a long way to find somebody uh, whose hand was so so small that they wouldn't be able to operate the trigger on this. 
the trigger's take up, which is the distance that the trigger travels between its furthest forward position and when you feel the resistance getting ready to let off, is 5 sixty-fourths of an inch. Very nice, very positive. And from that point, the trigger travels another 3 30 seconds of an inch until it lets off with no over travel which is a great thing because i can't stand a trigger it's got a lot of over travel to it when when you're when you're finished pulling the trigger you ought to be finished pulling the trigger as soon as that right round fires you shouldn't be moving the pistol the trigger back any more than you already have not only is it kind of aggravating and waste motion and it also can jerk your sights off just a little bit this this pistol does not have that problem and that along with the nice easy reset just makes for a very pleasant shooting experience the safety features on this pistol are numerous it's got plenty of safety features it has the uh, besides the trigger safety it's got an internal striker block safety and it's also got a, uh, a loaded chamber visual loaded chamber indicator in the top of the barrel little hole you can look down there and see if you got something in the chamber that, and uh, it does not have a manual thumb safety, which is fine. You don't need one. And my pistols that have a manual thumb safety on them, I ignore it. I've got the magazine out of this, so this thing does not have a magazine safety, which is a wonderful thing. So, so you know, if you're in between changing magazines or something like that, you're not out of a fight. Speaking of magazines, the GX4 comes with two. 11 round magazines they have configured the follower in such a way that uh that it the magazine holds 11 rounds and you got an extra up spout so you get a 12 round total capacity and this is only one short of the 12 round magazine on the uh g3c toro it's quite an engineering achievement to put just one fewer round in a magazine that's about three quarters of an inch shorter it's it's really really something these are great magazines they're steel they work wonderfully i haven't had any problems with either of the magazines and the pistol comes with two the magazine release is very nicely designed a little bit triangular in shape it sticks out just enough without sticking out so far it's going to get in your way when you're trying to holster the pistol or accidentally bump the magazine out of it you don't want that the magazine release is also reversible for those of you who are left-handed and would prefer the magazine release be on the other side of the pistol my brother jeff always kind of liked just working the magazine release with his index finger i guess probably because that's what he got used to because you know back when we was growing up there wasn't no such thing as guns designed for lefties so he got used to that but for a right hander or if you want to switch it it falls right underneath your thumb in a natural way for cleaning it's very easy pistol to strip for cleaning uh, all you do is first you make sure that the gun's unloaded uh, and you make sure that the gun's unloaded and then you make sure that the gun's unloaded and then you make sure that the gun's unloaded uh, and don't have any ammunition laying around for the gun when you're working on it uh, i learned that the hard way about 25 years ago to strip it all you got to do there's there's a nice little flush flush mounted takedown pin here it's got a screw head in it you just turn it a quarter turn counterclockwise pull the trigger slip the slide off the front of the frame do what you got to do and then you just slip the slide back on it rack it back and you're all good to go it's very easy to strip very easy to maintain Tars's new gx4 pistol retails for only 392 dollars and 42 cents msrp and that's a great price for everything that you get you get a nice compact pocket sized lightweight nine millimeter pistol with an 11 round capacity three inch barrel you get a decent set of sights. You get a pistol that's ergonomically second to none. I think these feel better in the hand than any of the small 9 millimeters that I've tried. They're just wonderful little pistols for a great price from the folks at Taurus USA. Federal's American Eagle 124 grain jacket hollow point full metal jacket ball is a good all around load. great load for self-defense and social work is uh, Buffalo Boar's 115 grain jacketed hollow point plus P plus. Uh, as Jeff always said, Tim Sundles does not cheat you on gunpowder. He puts all of it in there he can get and this, uh, this load is screaming out of here a little over 1300 feet per second.
115 grain TCX load from Defiant Munitions is a fine self-defense social workload. It's doing a, they clock it at 1275 feet per second. It's probably doing about 1225 to 1250 out of this three inch barrel. Some of the best self-defense social work ammunition out there is available from Double Tap Ammo. Our friend Mike McNett makes a wide variety of chamberings, different calibers, different loads for each caliber, and he makes some really great stuff for the 9mm. It's just the kind of thing that you can stake your life or the life of your loved ones on. It's accurate, it's powerful, it's just good ammo. This is Double Tap's 115 grain all copper hollow point. Great ammo. I've carried a pocket pistol for many, many years, and for most of those years, I didn't worry about a holster. Uh, I just, I just didn't really think that much about it. Gun fit in my pocket. I didn't worry too much about it. But uh, over the years, I've become convinced that they're an extremely good idea because, first of all, they keep the uh, keep the holster in the same position in your pocket, so it's not, you know, tipped over this way or that way while you're trying to fish it out of your pocket. Uh, a holster will put it in a consistent position so that whenever you reach in your pocket it's right where you expect it to be and you don't waste a couple of the last precious seconds of your life fumbling where the handle is on your gun that is a big deal there another thing that's really nice about a pocket holster that uh, it's not quite as big a deal but it's nice too is it tends to break up the outline of the gun in your pocket make it look more like you're just carrying a wallet back there and you can be like sure Mr. Robert just let me go for my wallet it's uh it, it's a good thing to have on several different fronts. As such, I really like this simple pocket protector leather holster from Simply Rugged Holsters. My friend Rob Leahy out there in Prescott, Arizona makes these. They're really well done. They're made out of thin suede leather. The suede side out makes the outside of the holster just a little bit tacky so that it holds on to the, the fabric of your pocket both inside and outside and it holds on to the holster while you draw the gun from it so you're not to, when you draw the gun you're not drawing the holster too and you have to spend another couple of those precious seconds plucking the holster off your gun you want a pocket holster that leaves the holster in your pocket every time this is great for that it's smooth on the inside rough on the outside for that purpose this one here rob made for me to fit my ruger max 9 when it first came out I ordered this holster ahead of time and Rob sent it to me, but it also works perfectly for this Taurus GX4. It, it fits it just perfectly, and it's what, the one I'm going to use to carry it around in. It's got a sight track molded into it so your sight's not hanging up. It's, uh, it's the epitome of the name of Rob's company. It's simple and it's rugged from Simply Rugged Holsters. To find these pistols, you can go to uh, Lipsy's website. Lipsy's is a big distributor down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They're some good friends of ours. Their website is lipsys.com. They got a thing on there called the Dealer Finder that you just put in your zip code and it'll give you a list of dealers in your area that can carry this pistol. To buy one of these online, go to the folks at Davidson's Gallery of Guns, galleryofguns.com. They've got a thing on there called the Gun Genie that uh, you put your zip code and whatnot in there, and they will have dealers in your area contact you with competitive bids on buying this gun. And with both Lipsy's and Davidson's, you go to your local dealer, you fill out all the paperwork just like you normally would. And it's, it's a great way to buy a gun without cutting out your local dealer, but still getting a nice online price for it. Taurus has really been coming out with some great guns here lately. They've uh, made a focus on customer service and new designs, improving their line from stem to stern, and they're doing a great job over there. I hope you all will let them know that you appreciate what they're doing. I do appreciate what they're doing. They're making some fine stuff over there, and they really are a resurgent company with some great designs, and the GX4 9mm compact pistol is one of them.
115 grain TCX load from Defiant Musician. Defiant Musician, that's me.